Good morning, folks. This is Michael at Mopar Pro and Vintage American Auto Parts and Restoration. Well, as you all know, I've been working on this Woody. The Woody has had the nose removed. Uh, I had to pull the motor out of it. Uh, me and the crew decided it was best to pull the motor out. Uh, here is the engine on the stand right here. We pulled it out yesterday. You, you could see here, it's the original P10 engine out of a 1940 Plymouth. That's what a flathead six looks like out of the engine. Distributors right here. There's the dipstick, which I'm sure you all know. These are, are all the freeze out plugs, which tend to leak. Just wanted to show you. Rear main seal right here. There is the valve train assembly, oil pump, fuel pump, exhaust intake manifold, carburetor. So, yeah, this engine, I just couldn't get it to run right. I've done everything in my power. Probably has worn uh, uh, valve parts. Lifters are probably no good. I don't know what's wrong with it. So, off to the machine shop it goes. And then we'll do the assembly here. That's that situation. Here's the new engine we're going to be putting in. This is an old rebuild. Uh, unfortunately, it's been sitting so long, you could see there's seeds inside the motor from an animal getting in there. So I'm going to have to completely disassemble the entire engine and put it back together. And uh, that's what she looks like uh, out of the car. Now, people say, why do you do all this work? Well, I want my machines to run good. And uh, that's the story. So, just wanted to show you my latest project on the Woody. The whole nose has been ripped out. It's kind of cool. You could see everything when it's out. It's much easier to pull the motor out when the nose is off. So, that's that situation. There's the floor pan from the car. A little rusty. I'll, I'll handle all that. And this is how we do it. We just pull the whole nose off in one section. It's really the easiest uh, way to do it, in my opinion. And that's the story. I hope you guys have a great weekend. It's Friday. If you guys need anything, I'm here. We'll be shipping parts all day long. And uh, I'll be back in the parts warehouse in a few minutes. But uh, here's the flywheel that came off the Woody. It's all burnt up. We got to send it out for resurfacing. The drive shaft has seen better days. You can see the leather boot is all ripped up. You know, this car really hasn't been serviced in 80 years. And, uh, we're going to do it all now. That just shows you the build quality of these old machines that they can keep going even when they're really not in tip-top shape. I mean, you can see what happens inside the fuel pump. You can see the white, the corrosion. Yeah, it's an old rebuilt. That's what that triangle means. It means it was rebuilt at some point in time. Uh, you know, we, we sell brand new fuel pumps. They're actually my production. I own the tooling for the 588 fuel pump. So if anybody needs a fuel pump... You just give me a call and I'll send you one. Uh, from what I understand, I'm the only one producing it right now, which is a good thing. And uh, that's the story. If you guys need anything for that vintage Mopar, please give me a call. Uh, give me a like on Facebook. I would appreciate that. Share this video with your friends. The more people who know about us, the better we are. Everyone have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Have a great one.